we always think of this 15 minutes, well, how much is enough? Oh, 15 minutes of casual sun exposure. What does that mean? Okay, 15 minutes of casual sun exposure to a vitamin Dologist means 15 minutes with a UV index of six or seven, meaning midsummer or to say six or seven. Mm -hmm. That's midsummer in northern, northern half of yeah. the United States. In, in Hawaii, it's midwinter. But <laughs> okay, so um, a UV index of six or seven, 50 percent skin exposure is shorts and t-shirt or a bathing suit for 15 minutes, middle of the day. Because UVB light is only available middle of the day. So mm -hmm. early morning sun before 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock in the morning is all UVA. And then um, as the sun gets closer to the, the surface of the earth at the middle of the day, there's less ozone to absorb UVB. That's when all your UVB is getting through. Okay. And that's usually between sometime around 11. And it varies. This window closes with the winter, and in the spring it opens back up. And, and here it, early in the day, it's 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. Late in the day, it's 4 or 5 o'clock in the evening. And then as the season closes, um, uh, you close in on that solar noon, which is somewhere afternoon. Um, uh, and it's, you know, two hours, three, hour, three mm -hmm. two hours, one hour, then it's gone. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, so, but it's the middle of the day. It's not, you know, have patients who are in Florida and they say, oh, I don't need to take vitamin D. I'm going to my place in Florida. We have a swimming pool. I'm out there the whole time I'm outside. Okay. First of all, I don't believe they're outside the whole time because it's not comfortable outside the whole time. And yes, they do come back with a tan, but remember, a tan is a red flag. Mm -hmm. If you have dark skin, that means you're at greater risk for vitamin D deficiency, not less risk. It may mean you've had more sun exposure, but you, 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 when you really darken up, it means you make lots of melanin and block, block the mm -hmm. sun. So I say, why don't we measure your vitamin D before you go to Florida, and we'll measure it when you come back, and we'll see how much D you made outside in the sun. And usually they come back and their D has not changed, or it, in many cases it's gone down. And they're shocked because they come back with this nice bronze tan being out their pool, and their D level's lower. Mm. I said, I told you so. <laughs> okay, the reason is, I said, let me see what your day is like. Okay, they get up in the morning. They go outside. They work in the garden. They work in the yard. It's cool in the morning in Florida. The sun's out. It's nice. It's very comfortable. Okay? Around 11 o'clock, it starts getting hot and sticky. They go inside. I'm going to do some bills. I'm going to do my grocery shopping. And then at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, they go back outside. So the exact time of the day when they could be making all this D, they decide to do all their indoor work, and they go back out mm. when it's more comfortable. Not making any D when mm. you do that. Okay? And so the key is making sure you're out in the sun with enough skin exposure, 50%, middle of the day, UV index has to be high enough. Then that 15 minutes may be enough. But otherwise, that 15 minutes is really pretty meaningless because mm -hmm. um, uh, most of us don't, don't meet all those requirements. How many of us get 50% skin exposure 50, you know, for 15 minutes with a UV index of 6 or 7? How many days a year is, does that actually right. happen? Not many. You yeah. can probably count them on your fingers and toes. Mm -hmm. It's just not that many. And you're talking about per day, right, part, you, to get optimal um, amount. It may not need to be every day. Maybe right. three or four days a week is all okay. you need to get that. But that's still, you know, we're lucky to get that three or four days a month. Mm -hmm. Right. And only in the season that it's available mm -hmm. or it's warm enough to do that. You know, I did a little calculation in the book, and I counted it was something like 58 days out of the year was as many days as we could make vitamin D. If you say, I only do it on the weekends and only the weekends that have the right amount of sun exposure, which means limited certain time of the year, it came out to like 40 or 50 or something, 50 plus or minus days in, in Detroit area that you could make vitamin D <laughs> on a, a normal schedule, mm -hmm. okay? So you said, okay, this is how much vitamin D I need on a daily basis. How much sun will I have to cram into those, those days? Yeah. You'd have to be like baking in the sun all day. And even then you couldn't store up enough to last right. because it decays quicker, quicker than that. The, okay. the, it decays faster than the length of your winter. <laughs> okay, and so sure. it disappears before the winter's over, which means it just keeps going down. And you, so you still run out of gas midwinter. Mm -hmm. So, so for, for those of us, you and I included, that live in the northern half of the country, the winter, even if we go out there at noon on December 21st in our bathing suit on a sunny day, we're, we're out of luck. You're not making anything. Okay. Okay. So in those midwinter warm-ups <laughs> where it's 60 degrees outside mm -hmm. and you're dreaming about spring, okay, um, and you think, God, I'm going to put some shorts on. This is going to be great. You're not making any vitamin D. Enjoy the sun. You might get burned even mm -hmm. because ultraviolet A will cause your skin to burn or darken, but you won't make any vitamin D. How about in the summer when it's cloudy? There's times where we still can be outside on a, on a slightly cloudy day and get a bit of a burn. Uh -huh. 
on those days, can we still get? You can still make vitamin D okay. if that UV index is above three, okay, okay? In, in midday sun, even on a cloudy day. So you can still get sun, but there's still lots of UVA coming through. There's probably less UVB coming through. But the UV index is a calculation uh, that the weather, uh, uh, that the uh, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration does. Something like 80% of that calculation comes from UVB because historically we thought UVB was the bad stuff and UVA was the good stuff. And so they came up with a calculation to measure the sun's intensity based primarily on UVB so that they could use it to caution us against sun exposure. Mm -hmm. Thankfully they did that because now we have a tool that we can use to help us know when we're making the most vitamin D. Because if it was a formula based mostly on UVA, it wouldn't help us mm -hmm. any. Okay, um, but since it's based primarily on UVB, we can use it as a tool, a surrogate tool to tell us how much vitamin D making sunlight is available. Okay.